I've spent one and a half year making this map. And with the smallest time spending across 36 million blocks, this map is said to be quite huge. And today, I'm gonna show you how I made this project come to life. It all started three years ago. Wait, you said one and a half years, not three. Well, there's a catch. You see, it wasn't my first attempt at this map. There were actually many attempts, and only one of them was successful. Unfortunately, I don't have the access to my previous attempts, but I have some screenshots. So, let's go through them. You may ask, uh, what am I looking at? Well, it was actually my first attempt at Snowy Island. To say it was small is quite an understatement. And at the time I was only using World Daddy to use some brushes. And my experience with it was very low. So, I don't know what I expected at the time. But I had to start somewhere. Later I found software called Gaia. And not knowing how to work with it, I created this. This time though, the problem wasn't in its size, but rather complexity. It was too simple. But my journey on learning Gaia has only begun. And after about one year, I came up with this. This time, the problem wasn't in its complexity nor size, but rather erosion. There was basically none of it. And after I added it, it looked way better. And with mountains finished, I proceeded to making the island itself. It took me many attempts, but at the end I came up with this. And after I combined them together, I was left with this. And with the island completed, next on the list were assets. Because what's a forest if there is no trees? So I started with trees. Here's a little time lapse of me making them. So, a couple months later, and here's what I got. 100 different trees with 5 types, 3 of which are spruce, and the other 2 are pine. 60 rocks, they just uh, the variation of this one. This being the deep sweet one, this one is just a mostly variation of this. And 20 bushes. And with all the assets done, I scattered them all around using World Painter. And with that done, I manually drew all of the rivers. And the island was done. So. What's next? Well, a couple of things. First and foremost, I will keep on making this map. And secondly, I will do some more in-depth tutorials, such as how I made all of the assets and island itself. Also, if you want to support this project, there is a link in the description to my Patreon. There I will be posting sneak peeks of future videos and all of the assets I made for this map. And it's also the place where I will post my map once it's finished with some limited beta tests along the way. But for now, 
that's all I got. So, I will see you in the next one.